Hey guys, what's up? It's M, and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I edit my video. So a while ago, I just filmed a video and I will show you how I edit that video using iMovie and I will also do my own green screen. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So iMovie is very easy to use and is recommended for beginners because it has very basic and user-friendly options. So let's open the iMovie app and show you how I edit my videos. So here I already started my editing but let's start from creating a new project. So in this add-ons archive, I have my most used clips and photos, my intros and my outros, and etc. Double-click the iMovie library and rename your folder. Since I already have Hangul file name, I'll use Hangul 2. Then import media here and it'll show different folders. But for me, I always drag my files from the finder because I find it easier. So after you import your videos, the first thing I do is edit the audio to auto and then after I try to adjust the brightness, the contrast, etc. So you can also crop your video or rotate it or you can also add filters, audio effects. But for this video, I'll leave it as it is. So now let's drag the first video into our workspace or work area. I don't know what this part is called so let's just use that term. So here you can magnify the length of your video to make your cut more exact. So when you want to delete some parts of your video, just hold the control and then B or you can just uh, right click and then select split clip. So you can also add transitions in between your videos. And of course, don't forget your intro and your outro if you have. So if you want to save your project, just click here and rename your project. Okay, now let's go to my original edit. So to add text to your video, click titles and choose the style you want and then drag it on the exact part you want the text to appear. And then adjust the color, the font, the font size, etc. So next is the fun part but the harder part, the animated green or blue screen. You need to learn their alphabet or their or the hangul. So here I used Keynote. I changed the color of the background to green or blue and of course the slide size to widescreen for YouTube size. So for photos, I either do my own using Photoshop like this one. Or you can just Google your images, but choose those labeled for reuse and then save it.
So one tip though, whenever I make my own green screen, I always screenshot the part of the video I would want my green screen to be, so I will know exactly where to position the images or the photos. So now let's animate the photos one by one. When you're satisfied with your animation, delete the screenshot photo and export to QuickTime. Remember to change the format to 1080 and rename your file. I already made one so I won't save this one. So to use your green screen or blue screen in iMovie, by the way I already made this a while ago because it's time consuming. So you can drag it on your folder or directly to your work area. And then select green slash blue screen and there you go. You need to learn their alphabet or their or the hangul. So, he so let's make another blue screen or green screen. But this time it's easier because I just want the images to appear one by one. are some of them uh, just link it down below for you to if you're interested for you to download so to add songs or sound effects just go to the audio section and itunes for the songs and sound effects for the sound effects and choose whichever you like and drag it on the video and just adjust the audio so when you want to add a picture to your video just drag it to your video and then you can crop it or use the actual size and then choose picture in picture and then you can position it wherever you want on the video you can resize it and then to have a pop effect you can adjust this 0.5 to 0 and then you can also adjust the duration of the image so when you're done editing just click here and then save your file and then rename your file name then just don't forget to change the resolution to 1080 and then click next and save and you're done.
So that's it guys. I hope may natutunan kayo in editing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. And yeah, see you on my next vlog. Bye. Peace. Thank you.